what I do and where I am online, it seems like Asian women are always trying to scam me one way or another. This time, it's through LinkedIn. Does now it say sucker, sucker on, on my, my forehead? forehead? Before I speak to the LinkedIn scam danger, you have to understand the background of where the Asian woman scam comes from. My first exposure to Asian women scams came through WhatsApp over two years ago. At the time, I made a video about my experience with the Asian woman WhatsApp scam. I made it because I suspected that there might be other people who were encountering something similar. Little did I know I would hit a chord because that video now has 135,000 views as of the date of this recording. The number of commenters on that video has been numerous, with a few victims privately emailing me and sharing their stories. One, One victim, victim even lost $246,000 of his inheritance. His story was so tragic, I made a video about his story. You can find the link to that video in the description below. I later learned that the Asian woman's WhatsApp scam is actually part of a larger scheme, the, the pig, pig butchering, butchering scam. scam. The pig butchering scam is when scammers entice unknowing victims into investing into fake or non-existent crypto. The majority of victims of pig butchering scams appear to be men. These naive men are drawn into their scam by their greed glands, their sense of loneliness, or the unexpected attention of a young, attractive Asian woman. It is actually sad to hear these stories. The victims are men of all ages, old and young. These Asian women scammers have snaked their way into other platforms such as Facebook, text messages, and now LinkedIn. I've tried to ignore the LinkedIn solicitations, but I finally got one request too many. So now I want to out these scammers and help put a squashing on these LinkedIn scams. If you are a working professional, independent contractor, manager, or small business owner, there is a good chance you have heard of LinkedIn. You probably even have a LinkedIn account. If you do, listen, listen up. up. Even if you don't use LinkedIn up, you should also listen up. If you have a LinkedIn account, there's a good chance you may have already gotten LinkedIn connection requests to be part of your network. If you have a LinkedIn request from an Asian woman that you don't know or has a questionable professional background, do, do not, not let, let them, them into, into your, your network. network. For that matter, it's good practice to read over every LinkedIn profile before letting them into your network. Let me explain to you why. But before I do, my cat Lexi has told me to ask you to swipe that like button to help spread the message of this video. She gets a treat if you swipe that like button. The first thing you should know about LinkedIn is that similar to Facebook, it is a closed network. If you are not a member of LinkedIn, you will generally not be able to see another member's profile. You will also have limited ability to view other profiles or communicate with other LinkedIn members unless you are directly connected to them. From the scammer's perspective, to get a fuller view of a potential victim on LinkedIn, they want to make a connection request to be part of your LinkedIn network. Once they are connected in your LinkedIn network, they can see your full profile. They can also see other LinkedIn members and how they are tied to you and even those members that are indirectly connected to you. This is normally a good thing if you are a LinkedIn user with legitimate networking intentions. However, scammers will abuse this and gather information about you, your work, your employer, your business, and of course, your other connections. LinkedIn will provide these scammers with a roadmap to other potential victims by virtue of their connection with you. One thing I do want to point out is that people who set up LinkedIn accounts generally have a higher professional status than those that don't. And I don't mean anything insulting by that. For example, if a person is a bus driver, housekeeper, or mechanic, they probably won't have a LinkedIn account to network with other members. That's just not how they get their employment. However, if you are a manager, developer, business owner, entrepreneur, lawyer, or any other kind of higher status or educated professional, there is a good chance you will have a LinkedIn account. The whole point of LinkedIn is connecting with others who are career, business, network, and opportunity minded. This is a ripe environment to sleazy scammers, but dangerous 
to a naive or trusting LinkedIn member. I often see LinkedIn members collect huge numbers of connections indiscriminately, which always makes me cringe. Whereas on my LinkedIn profile, you will see far fewer connections because I tend to restrict my connections to people I know. LinkedIn members, especially professional men with good paying jobs, are ripe pickings from Asian women scammers. There are some basic patterns to look out for of a suspicious Asian woman LinkedIn account. These are based on a dozen LinkedIn requests I've received from various Asian women. The scammers almost always use attractive photos. The women look like they are in their 20s or early 30s. All these women seem to list one or two jobs with some high profile company. Another thing I see is that the women list a high profile college or university as part of their educational background. Their LinkedIn profiles tend to be very simplistic and lack any depth of history if you really pay attention. Their initial messages are along the lines of wanting to work with you or having you be a mentor to them. What happens if you let the scammers into your LinkedIn network that they will tr then try to get your phone number so that they can text you or they will try to steer you towards WhatsApp so they can text you there. I rarely hear of any Asian woman scammer asking to email directly. Everything I have heard so far is all about getting your phone number. Once they get your phone number, they will want to text you through SMS or WhatsApp. You can expect that they will try to run you through the pig butchering scam. It, it really, really is, is a wash and rinse system, system for a lot of these scammers. scammers. And while they are working on you, they are expanding their list of potential victims through their LinkedIn connection with you. If you have a LinkedIn account with numerous connections, I suggest you go through your list of connections and look out for these LinkedIn profiles from Asian women with suspicious background information and get rid of that connection. Even if you are not at risk of being fooled yourself, your other connections might not be so savvy. If you remove suspicious LinkedIn connections from your LinkedIn profile, you can help restrict them from trolling around LinkedIn further. Please, Please be, be safe. safe. Always keep your guard up. If a stranger reaches out to you for no good reason, your guard should automatically be up and you should be suspicious. If you want to learn more about other scams I have reported on, click on this to learn more about different financial scams. Remember, swipe that like button to help spread the word. And thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video.